Okay, so. So this is Knights of Honor 2 Sovereign. Our first attempt at playing this game failed miserably as a... Uh, we're playing, we're playing um, Munster here in Ireland in the year 1110. And we got our asses kicked the first time through, mainly because we started a war kind of early, I think, against uh, Kana. Kana, I don't know how you say their name. We'll just call them Galway, because uh, that's the name of the city up there. We started a war with them. They came down with an army of 2,800 men. How many men do we have? 1,200. It was not a fair fight. I don't know where they got all the men from. So we're, sl we're slowly uh, taking our time this time to not get into a war too soon. Sire, we've received a letter from the Pope. Uh, I will, Jeff. And the Pope's going to want num money from us. Blah, blah, blah. has entrusted, entrusted her with the leadership of a sacred crusade. What? Crusade. What? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not doing a crusade. No. The opinion of our clergy dwindles, sire. <laughs> They'll get over it. Wow. Okay, that was not smart. Kingdom stability just went down to negative six. Refusing to lead a crusade has infuriated our clergymen. They are openly uh, questioning the king's faith, courage, and capacity to rule. Cl clergy opinion reduced by two. So we're at negative six. They're gathering. Many of our bishops signed an angry letter to the king. They are unhappy. Uh, that we disrespected and denied a diplomatic request of the Holy See. Well, he can go fight a war of his own then. Holy crap. I'm not going to go start a crusade. I mean, I know they... Well, in theory, nobody should attack, attack me when I'm on a crusade, but that doesn't mean they won't. I mean, not like the Scottish pay attention to anybody. We were like two seconds into this game, and Scotland declared war on Dublin. I mean, it was literally two seconds into the game, it seemed like. I went up there to start a trade agreement with the Scots, and they, they say, we will as long as you declare war on these guys. I went, what? <laughs> they come back down here, and they're already sieging them. <laughs> it's like, holy crap, this game's vicious. <laughs> uh, trade opportunity, expanded trade. We have opportunity to expand our trade relations with England, thanks to merchant whoever shall we proceed. Try to expand our trade relations with England to medium-scale trade. So money and commerce for this one. So we have the money. And we have 10 commerce. Is that right? That'll be all our commerce. Sources, upkeep, trade with kingdoms is 10. Oh, uh, sure, why not? Let's expand our trade. Fortune favors the bold. Or did we get 10? Oh, the upkeep is increased. So we need more sources of trade. So the Scots failing to uh, realize the vile English of the true enemy. I know. Oh, and then one of our idiot uh, Irishmen. No, sorry, it wasn't the Irishman, it was the Welsh. The Welsh come to us and say, oh, since we had, you know, since we're friends and that kind of sort of thing, declare a war in England, would you? Merchants in our kingdom applaud our actions. <laughs> hey, Tarkus, welcome I back. What you requested, my lord. Welcome back, Tarkus. Merchants' opinions increased. Yay. So. Still negative six. Merchant, so managed to improve our trade standing in England and arranged a medium scale trade. Our merchants have arrived, stuff. So, this is our commerce up here. So, sources are 24, but the upkeep is 20. So, so why is it 20 slash 24? We have received a diplomatic message. Hmm. Minutes to attack Gwynedd. What? Oh, we need someone to attack Gwynedd. Can Muster help us to destroy those maggots? We really would appreciate it. Let me think about it. So, these are the crazy Welsh again. They want us to attack these guys up here.
I'm busy trying not to die, so go away. How much money do I have? 1500 Oh, I was saving this money up for what? Barracks, I think? Barracks are 12 so this will help us with stuff. So that's plus three to levy. So province income from the town is nothing. From settlements is six. From governors is nothing. So, yes. So that increased this by a few. Oh, it also opens up these other upgrades too. More military stuff. Construct new buildings. Sir and Olwen uh, feel that we are neglecting the development of our kingdom, so we have, Sire, we have constructed new buildings anywhere in our royal, royal lands court. for a while, and we have needed space in our towns. Maybe we can construct something in Cork. They just started that, you morons. Okay, Prince Barola is now grown up, so Princess has shown talents in the following disciplines and is awaiting your orders. So this is our young son. So Iron Fist or Leadership. Iron Fist is uh, money from pillaging, money from defeated rebels, additional chance to succeed in established order action, tradition of Iron Fist, plus three squads, resilience. Hmm. Uh, King FX uh, reduces morale of all rebels in the kingdom and uh, reduces corruption or leadership. Uh, inspire... Sorry, when in prison, he inspires riots. King's effects, plus 100, plus 100 kingdom influence, 15% chance to avoid opinion drops. We have erected a new building, sire. Hmm. We've gained favor with our nobility. Your leadership. Yay, nobility. It's because we just built the building they asked us to do. Trade opportunity. Shun a foreign merchant. Chances are 44%, so we will not do that. Okay, so. Your wisest of rulers and his king. String. Monsterian Marshal. He's still young. His stats suck. Oh my god, his stats suck. He's not getting better as he's getting older. He's going to be a horrible king. Can we kill him now? I mean, honestly, he's he's going to be a horrible king. Trade center rises. So trade and towers. Okay, we don't care about that. Oh, we need more commerce, don't we? At your service, sir. You're a diplomat. Now okay, merchant. fine day to trade. So bargain or courtesy? Bargain. Knowledge is gold. Logistics. More goods are produced. More food storage in the town. Not today. Oh. So we're still trading with England. Hmm. Regicide is wrong, Kippy? No, it's not. In some cases, it is very much acceptable. Cup out of pump. I have no real control over pumping out spares, though. That's the problem. It's a cork. So we have six out of seven workers. Growth rate is 122%. Rebellious population of one. Hammers, 12. Determines the speed of constructing buildings, upgrading, repairing fortifications, and pillage settlement recovery. Need better troops. I don't want friggin' villagers. So we're producing four commerce in this town. I should hire another merchant, I think. Or do I want a cleric? I strengthen the faith and knowledge of the folk and become cardinals or even the pope. 
They're able to peacefully end disorder in provinces, convert the religion of provinces, and visit Constantinople and Rome to increase relations, piety, and book production. Well, might want to work on that actually. I greet the brightest ruler in the world. Should we march? Does he have any skills yet? Siegecraft, stewardship. Mission impossible. I can't. My king is an idiot too. Boss fight. Is this another one of those fights for Good that day, boss fight sire. bingo game? You people take way too much pleasure in beating up poor little kittens and helpless squirrels. So our new little cleric, uh, let's see, what does he do? Faster squads experience gain, cultural power. A diplomatic message has arrived. Villages, traditions, here, let's pause for a second. I'm trying to decide here, charity. Uh, stability while in helping the weak state. Okay. Action, commit to charity, writing, more books. Cultural power, faster squad ads. What you wish cannot oh, be done. Fine. So not governing the town, idle in court. So he doesn't really do anything, does he? Are you in need of my counsel, sire? Hmm. So, that. Demands us, yeah, you can demand all you want. I got other stuff to do. The Indians are evil. Listen to me, king. You really have to attack them first. Do you like gold? <laughs> Might that's... Uh, sending you uh, 900 coins change your mind hello everyone <laughs> my name is veronica and welcome to gimpy's twitch channel if you are enjoying what you are watching please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen that way you will be notified by twitch when gimpy goes live you can also find gimpy on youtube where he posts previous episodes and highlights of the stream just scroll down under the video screen and click the YouTube button in the About section. Then click the Subscribe button to follow. That's it. Thanks. Yep, thank you very much. Happy Wednesday. And Ogre in a Diaper squished everybody. Ogre is number 9 on the bingo card. Number 9. <sighs> Let's see. 900 gold to start war with Gwynedd, which is the one at the far north. But... Let me think. So these guys up here, this is Gwynedd. My army is, ugh. Um, we have a stability issue. Expanded town, so we can't do that yet. So upgrade the harbor. So docks. To produce trade or commerce, as well as food per coastal settlement, so that would be one. Horse breeding, horse markets, that's what we have already, right? Or is it? No, it's not. So, more trade there. Barriers, saddling shops, more horse breeds. Housing. So aqueducts, so population growth and happiness. Brothels, money in town and happiness. What about the barracks, though? Town guards and quarters, so more levy in town. Fletchers, fortification attrition damage. Enables recruiting of light range units. Requires full training for all. Yes, can we do this now? Yes, we can. Okay, so we're, I think we're upgrading that. Yep. Okay. So that'll let us uh, hopefully recruit some archers instead of crappy uh, village people. <laughs> Foreign merchants have arrived. More. 
from Ulster. So we do want actually Dublin. Have trouble? Want to be my friend? Our merchant's opinion has improved. Good. Okay, so what about Scotland? They're gonna be still jerks about the in trading with us. Training Master doesn't interest you. Well, it's because you're jerks. Oops. That's England. This is Scotland. Poor Jeff has to mop everything up. You should let somebody else do that, Jeff. You really should. We're trading with these guys already, right? To respond to my offer is simply not discuss anything. Okay, fine. Later. So our army is the yes. army's getting bigger by doing nothing? No, it is not. Sire, we have completed an upgrade. Look. Archers, bowmen. Oh, actual bowmen. Bowmen mobile and deadly for the enemies, but protected only by light leather armor. Make two of those. And then... What else? Town guard. That is the spear makers. There's a crew many of light defense units. Swordsmiths. Like infantry. Hmm. Why? Why are these guys so much more? Why is that upgrade so much more expensive? So swordsmiths or spears? Swords the queen spears. has given birth to a healthy prince. Yay! Somebody replace or reject. Did we get rid of the? British yet? Oh god, no. Not even close, Bat Kanker. Not even close. There's uh, Creator of Light Infantry. Blah, blah. Spears to deal with cavalry, right? Let's get these guys going first. Oh, we can even recruit uh, Bowman to the town, too. Widow. Lord, Princess Bodola has returned to the royal family following her husband's untimely demise. Oh, no. Possum Coffee, welcome to the stream, and thank you for the follow. Kingdom has been destroyed. So, pow that was the Welsh. They're the, they're the idiots who wanted us to uh, wage war against England and kick their ass. England did, of course. And there's our prince. Oh, he is almost so much better than his brother. We should prepare him for his, uh, for his future nightly duties by uh, picking his class. Marshal? Uh, actually, no. He's not going to be good at warfare. So everything else... Um, I think merchant, merchant, clergy, or diplomat. Merchant it is. Let fate decide. We have received a diplomatic message. He invites us to their defensive pact. With Munster, will Munster be interested in joining our defensive pact against Leinster? Now uh, we could always use uh, an extra hand in close uh, case matters escalate to war. So, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, do you want us to build something? Yes. So, uh, this is a defensive pack with these guys against these guys. Um, sure, why not? Construction, new building. So the nobles are getting upset again. I just built something. It's not like I'm not building stuff. You can only build things so fast. 
So what's the little circles mean? A new upgrade has been completed, sire. What do the little circles mean? Like, why do they have them and this one doesn't? Are these towns? Oh, because these are, you know, those are castles. Okay, so this is castle, this is a horse farm. So, okay. So that's the difference, I guess. Our. May God bless you, my lord. That's right, our cleric isn't doing anything. Oh, he can bolster culture. There we go. That costs money. Oh, it costs money in the holy thing, this religion stuff. Strengthen the culture of our people in the entire kingdom, thus they will be more merchants in our kingdom. Loyal to our actions, sire. Of course they will. Go merchants. We're still at negative six. Because the clergy hates us. Sometimes diplomacy is the only way. Diplomat's supposed to be improving our relations with everybody, these guys over here, but it doesn't seem to be working very well. I'm ready to trade. Logistics or cavalry? Logistics is. No, that is impossible. Okay, that's fine. What about you? Strategy or logistics? Lovely readings. Oh, that worked. Strategy, charity, courtesy. Increases relations with. Oh, and improve relations. That's with like uh, other people, right? Other. That would countries. be unwise. Fine, don't be that way. Are you in need of my counsel, sire? In need of you to be skilled up. Cultural power. Charity. Writing. Stability while I'm helping the weak state. Commit to charity. Oh, that increases command stability. Unfortunately, I cannot. Or not. So he's just an idiot. Won't level up. Uh, let's see. We want to... Another merchant, don't I? Any new deals? There we go. What skills do you get? Bargain, leadership, bribery, or learning. Which bribery you get? Espionage, defense, base merchant trade income. For the bribery stuff, learning. Bargain. Money from food export. Um... produce goods get more money um, not today no bribery though oh we don't have the stuff for that what are we missing books yeah books or plus one boss fight Tubby, did you hear that? There is a boss fight starting. How may I say? I heard you? the squirrel is looking for you. The Pope has called for a crusade. So he's able to trade with some of them. Any new deals? Oh, here we go. Trade with. Uh, shoot, who do I want to trade with? They're the best shop there, but we're going to be over on trade. Damn. We need to get our trade up before that happens. Okay, so. Listen, days are upon us, but Blah has called for a crusade against Rome. Our army's opinion has improved. Try to lead the army. I don't care about that. Cleric opportunity to increase the cleric. Or clergy. Time with our clergy in an attempt to convince them. King is a devoted chosen god. Appease the clergy for... Um, we don't, can't afford that. <laughs> we don't have the uh, religion to do that. Let me think. Army opinion has increased. Yay. We're still at negative four, though. 
the Holy Crusade against Rome. So, section of the Crusade, enemies of the blah, blah, double click to show the Crusade location. I don't want to do a Crusade. Hey, look, we're going to die for killed everybody again. We've already seen that. So, go to your bingo cards, click a number that you need, and good luck. Trade Center declined. No longer Trade Center. Not my problem. Defensive pack against Langster, so. So basically, it's the three of us against them. We are peace and cannot attack them. Trade agreements. We have agreed that we have a trade agreement. Okay. Royal marriage. No, we don't have a marriage with Ulster. Yeah, works. Need more commerce. The harbor. The docks get us more commerce. 1600 gold, though. We have not even 600. I'm sure we can do Zaya, spears now. We've too. spotted mercenaries camping in our lands. That's nice. So we can't afford any of that stuff. Horses. This is a money issue. Docks. This will increase our trade, but we need more money. So I just have to wait up. Okay, so who's camping out in our space? Mercenaries. Uh, Cork, we can bring an army and hire troops from them for the right price. Well then, three grand. How much is the right price? What is your wish? Respect my authority. Oh, we're up to 900 men. Yes, my lord. So, heavy cavalry, heavy infantry, light spearmen, heavy cavalry, heavy spearmen, Viking, Viking, light spearmen, light cavalry. So, yes. What is your wish? Stuff. Hire for where? Wars. Our kingdom has no wars. Hire against rebels. We have no problem with rebels. So, not much we can do then. I'm ready. Come back in here. Okay, so bingo vote. Go to your bingo cards, click a number. Good luck. Blame down. It's all his fault. Okay, so we can hire more troops. A diplomatic message has arrived. Trade opportunity. Ah, uh, that went by so quick. What happened there? Okay, so now we have a whole whopping uh, two archers, two uh, light spearmen, right? So we're moving up in the world. How big is our army now? 1,600. It's almost there. Looks around, hopefully, to hand them off over to someone else this time. I hope so, too, Jeff. Cleric opportunity. Enlightenment mission. Uh, an opportunity to send cleric whoever to Constant Const Constantinople has origin, arisen. His mission will be one of enlightenment, where he will st uh, study in the sacred libraries of the Holy Orthodox City. Enlightenment mission. So, success chance 68%. The king's religion ability. This is going to cost us stuff. Sure, I don't know what the actual opportunity is going to be. Expanding our kingdom's knowledge. I will exchange knowledge with these fine people. Yeah, don't screw it up. So the blue bar, I think that's morale, I think.
Okay, so our little army doesn't have really much to do. I guess we could declare war on uh, like a four grand. Maybe not. Hmm. How much money do I have? Five hundred. Still at negative four because the clergy doesn't like us. Sixteen. We need to like so. We need to work on our commerce. Yeah, I know. But I can't afford anything. Oh no, I can't afford to build any buildings. At your service, sire. So this is our this is our diplomat. Getting better at your job yet? Strategy, charity, courtesy. It will have to wait. <sighs> See, he's supposed to be improving opinions with everybody, but it's not working against the a clergy. A new pope heads the Catholic Church. Yeah, the other one was a jerk. <laughs> And, you know, so vote is decided the new pope should be Cardinal Elect Ricardo of the Papal States, now known as Pope Eugene the First. Great name. Good day, sire. So we're clear it. Enlightenment. Okay, so that's what he's doing. So, yes, so he's busy. I'm at your disposal, my lord. He's actually running the town for more stuff. Shun a foreign merchant. No, we don't want to do that. Hey, Ring, welcome back. Your wishes have been fulfilled, my lord. Getting our spearmen thicker so they become heavy spearmen? I don't think that'll work that way. Cleric broadens our knowledge, so the cleric looks like he's successful. He returned uh, enlightened from Constantinople. He is now eager to pass on the knowledge to the wise men in Munster. Plus 242 books. So books. Acquiring and improving our knight's skills as well as uh, adopting traditions requires books. Okay, so does that mean they skill up? I greet the brightest ruler in the world. Learning. So, more books, charity, kingdom stability. That's writing. Action. Commit to charity. This increases a help with the stability. I learned this so well, I can teach it now. Yes. Okay, theology medicine and leadership how about theology it was not meant to be not yet okay exile not governing a town so he doesn't really do much may the light guide you oh way. sorry he's got those bolster our culture causes uh, requires uh, more of this religion we don't have commit to charity so uh, travel across Munster's lands and increase the stability by helping the poor and needy. It costs us the religion to do that. But increases the stability. So, yes. Oh, it keeps, keeps up a little bit of money, too. Eh. I put my faith in your bidding. Get to work. That old, don't let old Eugene near the truck choir. No, Aeolus, no. It's a lot of books. Well, that's the way it works. I'm ready to trade. Logistics are can. Sadly, I cannot do that. Of course you can't. Any tactical advice? Yeah, have you leveled up on anything yet? <laughs> oh, we don't have... Oh, I ate up all the books, didn't I? He, need, he needs 200 books to uh, level up there at 196. Do you need advice? This is our... Diplomat. 
Same idea. So we just need more books. At so that's how that service, works. Sire. Need more books. Need more trade too. Or more. We need lots of new stuff. Uh, let's see. Sixteen hundred for that. Horse merchants. We have received a diplomatic message. Of course we have. Brothels or aqueducts. Population growth and happiness or money and happiness. You can do either one of those now. Or military stuff. Stables. Guards recruiting of horse riding non elite cavalry units. Or swordsmen. Hmm. Cavalry? Cavalry. What was the other one? This is more money. Oh, sorry. Population and happiness. So. Stability. Let's pause for a second. So where's our... How do we know what the happiness is in this town? I don't know. Docks is going to give us more tr commerce and more food production there, too. The horses are going to get us more commerce. So this is uh, a little bit more expensive, but we get more food, too. Leveling up is overrated? That's what they want you to think. Brothers are essential? No, they're not. I think we're going to wait until we get the, the dock upgrade here. We'll wait on that one. So it's 1600. Okay, so. Kingdom destroyed. So wherever that, oh, that's over on Eastern Europe. Didn't we get a diplomatic message from somebody that I ignored? to hear your orders. Yeah, me too. Unfortunately. So we need six more trade in order for to send him out. Otherwise we're at negative. Right? Yeah, we need six more. So give me some more trade. That's what we're waiting for the docks for, which is going to be 1600, right? Yep, 1600. Uh, who else wants to be my trading friend? We'd never do business with a Measly King, what? You guys suck. That's the English, we're already trading with them. Holland, you want to trade with me. Each operating trade route. Possible if relations improve, but right now we have to decline. You guys suck too. Just cross England and then everybody will love you and treat you, trade with you. Yeah, that's easier said than done. Speaking of, Scotland. You guys like me, right? After a few years, whatever. 
So here's the problem is we don't know, we don't actually see time passing by. I don't see a calendar anywhere, so I don't know what actually day or year it is anymore. So I have no idea how fast time is going by. So it's hard to tell if it's been a while since we talked to somebody. Ah, and Delm beat up on a piranha with the uh, one too many machine guns. I think we've seen that one already. We have, so go to your bingo cards and vote. Oh, we have multiple bingos already. Hurricane and Delm all both have bingos. So we need one more bingo winner and then we'll start up a new card. Time is measured in dead kings. But a day here it is anymore. Yep, sounds like the any time after 2020. I agree. That's the weird part. Ah, the English have created a defensive pact against Scotland. <laughs> ah. We can find a solution. Indians aren't working very well here. Um, do defensive act already in one. Crew relations is busy with another action. So relations is we have relations with another kingdom over time. Merchants love us. Ability kind of likes us. Army is eh. Peasantry is eh. So diplomats not very good at this job. What a fine day to trade. How many books do we have? We have 200 books, so... Who wants to level I'm up? I'm ready. Trade Center rises. An Ulster. Trade is flourishing. Ulster has uh, declared that all merchants from friendly kingdoms are now welcome in, in the Trade Center. But we already had trade. Our with prince has grown and can learn new skills. Are you really still in control of Munster at your age? Even if you are, who will rule a few years and okay, back one, okay, whatever. Basically, he's trying to say I'm old. Are we old? Aren't your legs getting stiff, sire? You I haven't moved in quite a while. The royal family. Stretch, damn it. You ignorant meatbag. So, there's no actual age. There's no years here. They're just old. A diplomatic message has arrived. Just old. So that's why there's no years and stuff. Not far from Kanai. Royal marriage between Prince Capital and Princess blah blah blah. We are warned the relations of our kingdoms. Isn't that so? You. It, it can be arranged, but these will be a small price for Munster to pay. We have to pay for the marriage? Why? Between Prince Capel, that is... Not us, so Princess whoever. Oh, this is the old lady. No, she's an adult. I have to pay for her to get married? For 700? No, I need that money for something else. Let me think. Oh yeah. The port is more important than her getting married. <laughs> I need boats. <laughs> I need boats. I just did constructing the buildings there. Oh, this is a the uh, this is a younger son. He's going to be the merchant. So bribery navigation or negotiation 15 percent uh, merchant trade income espionage defense navigation more trade on coast, coastal so settlements though but more money from the trade routes so yes Okay, so we still have 200 books to spend on somebody. Not the king, because he's going to die, because he's old. 
he's an adult. He's an, these are all adults, so oh, this guy's young. It's the other. This is the other uh, merchant. Any new deals? Not really doing anything. Bargain. Lower prices for hiring knights. More crop stuff. And food export. We're not exporting food. Sorry, darling. Can't have you married. I need boats. That's exactly what happened. She'll get over it. Learning. More cultural power. Princes learn their skills at level three. Hmm. If I knew that earlier, we would have saved so much. I know. Just let her marry a boat so everybody is happy. She might be happy. An upgrade has been completed, my lord. So that's our dock, right? So the harbor. So now we're producing a little bit more trade at 26. Warehouses, more trade, more storage for food. Fish markets, more food production, more trade. And produce salted fish. Requires salt and barrels, though. That's a little trickier, isn't it? It's more trading from the horses. Aqueducts, brothels, large houses. Very expensive. Hmm. Military more? Swords? Ah, oh, we're gonna go cavalry at 640. More merchants have arrived from England. My lord, we've gained a supporter in our defensive pact. And his defensive pack against Stadling Series grows stronger as Scotland has joined our ranks, so we should wage war against Dublin. You were promised a dog camp? No, you weren't. <laughs> See how it says maybe at the end? Nice try, Hogan, though. Welcome back. Welcome to the stream. Maybe does not mean that's not confirmed. There's no dogs here anyway. They're getting they're uh, at the groomer getting all prettied up for whatever reason. Uh, it feels that the time is right to spend some time with their clergy and attempt to convince them that King is a uh, devout ruler chosen by God. So peace the 300. We have 219. 60% anyway. When we think about it. You getting ready for the camera? Maybe. We'll see. It's up to Mrs. Gimpy. When she gets back with them, it's going to pretty much what her plans are. If she's going to stick around here, they're not going to be on the camera. If she leaves, they're going to be on the camera. That's how that works. So we'll have to see. There. The war is coming. So when he dies, does the army go away? Or does that go back to the king? the makeup team. We call them groomers, Cap here. They're called groomers. So some of our population is not so happy. 
That's what I think those guys mean. Cleric opportunity to arrange peace. So shall we send whoever in an attempt to convince King whoever to end his senseless war against Gwynedd? After all, peace and salvation can only come through a well-timed divine intervention. Okay, that's going to end a senseless war on Gwynedd. So up here. Are we supposed to be... We're not participating up there, are we? Arrange peace. Oh, wow. That's not going to happen. That is not even close to happening. Independent kingdom has formed. Kanye has to, uh, could not stop Crusader Latov's forces and fell to a siege. Part of the crusade separated and formed their own kingdom. Uh, crowning Sultan was uh, as their new ruler. I don't think that's how crusades are supposed to work. Does it? Does it? Hmm. Groomers? No. Groomers are not peons. Unless we're talking about something else. How much money do I have? 689, so that's uh, upgrade for cavalry. Light cavalry. So these mercenaries are just sitting here. Now, oh, what can you interest? What can you interest us in? An offer. We trading with them already? Guess not. Go away. Your wisest of rulers and his king. He's an adult. You're not married yet. Oh, I guess I should be arranging a marriage for our son, huh? Um Trade opportunity. China foreign merchant. Thirty two percent chance. Go away. What do you want, Kim? Obviously, our families have no royal children that we can marry. Oh, never mind. Hello, everyone. My name is Veronica, and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way, you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also find Gimpy on YouTube where he posts previous episodes and highlights of the stream. Just scroll down under the video screen and click the YouTube button in the About section. Then click the Subscribe button to follow. That's it. Thanks. Yep, thank you, and happy Wednesday. Oh yeah, boss fight. Another boss fight already? I think you need to change the parameters of this boss fight bingo game. These boss fights are happening much too often and the bosses may not be getting paid fairly for the amount of work they are doing. A Catholic kingdom has been expelled from our church. Uh oh. Blasphemous. <laughs> the blasphemous, <laughs> blasphemous rule of Germany could no longer be tolerated, and Pope Eugene I has excommunicated them from the Catholic Church. Good job, Germans. Good job, Germans. Kingdom has been destroyed. The, uh, and, um, the armies of Ulster crashed the resistance of the very last castle of Winnet. So they're doing that. Uh, Germans. I'm looking for a someone to marry my daughter. You suggest uh, maybe I should marry you? I think not. No, there is not. There is no royal bond possible between our families. <sighs> People. Yeah, Martin Luther was a thing build, back sir? then. Actually, he wasn't alive at this point. We're only in, we're still in the 12th century, so Martin Luther's got a couple of years to go still. Constructing new buildings. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I don't have money to do that. I already talked to the English about marrying. I think I did. 
Sire, we have completed an upgrade. On one side you need a prince or a king, on the other a princess. They need to be old enough. Which part do you not understand? The old enough part, because apparently that wasn't really a thing, you know. What's Scots? They're always looking for a party. Ah, we get to pick. Pick a royal family member. This would be us. So, off with the daughter. Do the king, even. Nope. Demand. Nah. Okay, so. Oh, I'm still looking for somebody to marry off my, uh, marry my, uh, sons off to. Behold, the current great powers. Ulster is up there? How'd that happen? The Pope has excommunicated the heretics. We have received a diplomatic message. Pause. Try the French, they have wine. Yeah, I already did. They didn't have anybody to marry off. Scotland wants a trade agreement, finally. We've pleased our merchants, sire. See, the merchants love me. The, the clergy hates me. Genoa was excommunicated. Good job, Genoa. Or Genoa. Is it Genoa or Genoa? I don't know. Oh, Genoa. Never got that right. Okay, so I need to find somebody to marry my sons off to. Burgundy. You guys will work. They don't have anybody to marry us to. There's no royal bond. Go away. Uh, the Spanish are usually good for marrying people off. I've got a candidate here. Prince. Uh, which one's the older one? His Excellency, the King, and his most noble family. Prince M. Get him going. I should not give my daughter in marriage, as I fear that one day when I am gone, the relation of our kingdoms might be ruined in inheritance uh, disputes. Hopefully, it does not offend you. It kind of does. <sighs> Apparently he doesn't understand the reason you have daughters, is to marry them off. Looks like you've got a candidate. Princess Eleanor. Oh no, we never marry our princesses abroad here in, in Galicia. Or Galicia. I don't want my successor to face this... whatever. Looks like we're going to have to stick to Ireland. No waiting from you guys. No waiting for me. We can tell because it's, you know, not highlighted, sort of, kind of. Do a traditional Viking wedding, just sail over to somebody and get the wife off of your choice by force. I don't think that'll work either. It's not really what we're looking for. And we already talked to the English. Right? Prince and Queen, so... The queen. Oh, is she the one that gave me crap about not marrying? Uh, let's 
see who's over here. The Hague. I don't think they have any candidates here, but we'll see. Nope. Ah, Saxony. I'm going to go with probably a no there, too. Yep. They needed an easier way of finding somebody to marry, because this is really not fun. Princess Ingerd. We should not have agreed to your proposal as we are warned. <laughs> as we were warned, you might have devious thoughts about claiming inheritance of our lands one day. Is it true? <sighs> you know, it shouldn't really be this hard to marry off a son. I mean, we're just looking for one of your throwaway daughters that you're. You're just gonna give her to anybody else, everybody else, anyway. So, does it really matter? It can't be this difficult. I mean, we just need her to spit out a couple of kids. It's not that big of a deal. I don't think we're gonna get anybody here that looks a little young. Throwaway daughters. Well, that's what they were back then, Jeff. That's all they really were. Let's see. Ah, oh, look, Naples. This is where Mrs. Gimpy's from. Let's see if she's available. Nope. Oh, wait, that was the wrong button. Oh. Ah, potential wedding with an Italian. This will go well. Ah, two to choose from. Um, she's young. She's both of, both of them are young. She's slightly better, so she is uh, Melisende. I think you say, that's how you say that. Unfortunately, we have other plans for her. Well, that doesn't sound good. Oops. You need to get up and step away from the computer. That was really bad. It wasn't that bad. You should not agree to your proposal, as we were warned you. So, what? This is annoying. <laughs> she's young. She's not very good. She's not to have a lot of stars, but. Never marry our princess to a broad here. <coughs> this isn't working. For some reason, the Irish don't have anybody to marry off. And anybody that does seem to have anybody to marry off, they don't want to. <laughs> At least not to a dirty Irishman. Religious mission for a cleric. 70% chance of success. It only costs 500 gold. He's busy? What's he doing? Oh, that's right. He's walking around. He's supposed to be helping with stability and stuff.
What troubles you? Nothing. Here, I call you. I'll humbly obey. Is he not back yet, or is he? Now he's back. I have so much to learn on this mission. Don't screw it up. <clears throat> you could buy a wife. Would you really want to waste Our her on the bad son? Has increased. It doesn't seem to matter anyway, Olus. <laughs> I think that's the problem. It doesn't seem to matter. Oh, and of course the peasants have increased their opinion of us. So that's okay. We're still at negative four. How are we in negative four if it's only negative three here? How is this kingdom stability at negative four if we only have one troublemaker? Trade center. Constant is no longer considered a trade center. Well, it sucks to be them, then. Speaking of trade, we're at 26. Da -da -da. I don't know what to do. I mean, other than trying to go to war up there, I guess. Yes. Oh, we need money for cavalry. More money. Kingdom has been destroyed. Dodge you. Yeah. Not my problem. Boss fight. Is this boss fight going to be against one of the top bingo players from last month? I hope so. They were so annoying. Okay, so stability. Problem stability is negative three. Kingdom stability is negative four. Happiness plus one. How? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how our kingdom and province have different stabilities because they're all the same thing. More importantly, when's the king going to die? When's he going to die? I'm gonna take down Hurricane. Why would he do to you, Jeff? You need advice. Oh, books look we can level. Crusader some. armies have met their demise. The uh, army against uh, Rome was defeated near uh, Melodia, uh, Melish, uh, uh, whatever. With no army left to command and forces, the Crusaders no more. Good thing I didn't go. Plan invasion. Create an invasion plan against a neighboring kingdom you are not at war with. Diplomatic ascension will then search for supporters, which will also be added through diplomacy. That's a lot of money. I'd rather save that money for we took another step on our path. stuff. Okay, so strengthens our piety. Holy sites we saw, so finally, 300 there for the holy religion stuff. Okay. So, should I invest in some horses? Or should I save up for some more buildings? What's outside of that? Aqueducts. Large houses. So that's just more... Uh, more freaking soldiers in town, it looks like. Public baths? No. Oh, we still haven't done the horse market. That's more trade. To send uh, Christian Kiyos to Noble has arisen, has, or, uh, has arisen. His mission will be one of enlightenment, where he will study in the second sacred libraries, blah blah blah. How much is that going to cost us? 250. Plus some holy you know, religion stuff. Sure, why not? I shall set upon this holy path. 
Jixer, thank you for the follow and welcome to the stream. And uh, bingo boat is starting. Go to your bingo cards, click a number you need, and good luck. We're looking for one more winner so we can start up a new card. Okay, so. Money. So warehouses, that's more trade, more storage, but we need barrels. Where do we get barrels from? Where do we get salt and barrels from? Our advantages and goods. A diplomatic message has arrived. Demands us to attack England? You're crazy. <laughs> we don't have the time to take care of those maggots right now. <laughs> Go suck at a oyster. Uh, Go start a war with England because we don't have time. <laughs> How big's our army anyway? 1800. I don't know why I did that. We can look at that right here. Go start a war with England. Here, speed up time a little bit. And again, when is my king gonna our die? Prince is ready to enter our royal court, sire. Okay, so he is young. He is our merchant. So charity, medicine, field tactics, or logistics. Logistics. Click uh, opportunity arrange at peace. Again, that is way too expensive. So they have allies with Ulster? Really? How are they allies? They're enemies with England. So how are these guys allies with them and we're not allies with them? Huh. Say that you do not have uh, much time left as king. We hope that is untrue, but we are not willing to sign a non-aggression pact with you right now. <sighs> that we were friends. That we were friends. Someone almost dies over there in the east. Very last lands of Missouri were taken by wherever. Construct new buildings. I don't have the money for it. Yet. So I'll stir. Hey bag of water, stretch your legs. You have been sitting have in one spot you, for far Zaya. too long. Mm, do not be offended, but you, your age is starting to show. <sighs> so our cleric failed, so that money was thrown away. I appreciate that. So I'm kind of stuck at the moment. They've got all the friends and we don't because we're too old. We still have a pact though. Defensive pact against Leinster, so them, so. Merchants in our kingdom applaud our actions, sire. The king is dead. Long live his successor. Our nobility's opinion has taken a hit. Our nobility has died of old age. Long live his heir. King blah blah blah. This ends our world. Uh, ties with the count in Scotland. Oh, that's going to be bad. 
Merchants' opinions have increased because reasons. The death of our king has shaken our entire town. Some of our nobles might cause problems. Trying times are ahead of us. Yes, as always goes well. Okay, so we march? we still have the troops at least. So that's a plus. But now, crappy son. I'm ready. Oof. How old is he? He's an adult. Oh, I missed the other boss fight, didn't I? Dick Sir makes reveals already. Is it really that bland? I don't know if it's bland. It's more. It's still on. I'm on the learning curve still. But uh, anyway, squirrel. Sorry, I just saw that Dixer. Sorry, apologize. But squirrel. We've already seen the squirrels. So oh, Banna's got a bingo. So we're gonna do one last vote, and then we're gonna start up a new card. So. Good luck in getting bingo. Last vote for this card. But I don't know if it's bland. Um, it's. I guess it depends on what you were expecting it to be. I mean, there's diplomacy, but it's pretty average. Keep troops in tight formation and archers or OPS foot. Oh, I have no idea. I've only had. I haven't had any real fights yet. <laughs> So there's, I don't have that much experience yet. I mean, right now we're in a situation where we've created. Oh, did that? Da, 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 where is it? So we still have our pact. We have a pact against uh, these guys. So if they attack us, you know, everybody else is supposed to jump in, including Scotland. So, and then these two, I could, I guess, technically. No, they have allies. A letter allies from too. the Pope requires your attention, my lord. Does. See, they have island. Somehow they have, they're allied with the, a country or a you know a government that they are actually have an agreement to defend against too. That's weird. And Ulster, that's them up there. So these two are allies. Well, actually, these three are allies. Yet the three of us plus Scotland have a defensive pact to protect each other against Dublin. So we got that going on. Um, so I don't know where I could go. I can't go over to Wales because uh, they got their ass kicked by the English. Oh, that looks like the English might be having trouble over here. What is this? Is this Ulster? Ulster came across for some reason. Well, that's pretty suicidal. What are they thinking? Hmm. Many years ago. I mean, it's only got... Better graphics, better UI, and ability to pause. And really Stop your complaining and get to work on getting Later those autographed photos nights. of Mickey and Rocket done. Matt Child will not wait forever. I didn't play the first game, so I don't know what to compare it against. Other than other games like this, say like Crusader Kings. And if you're going to, if you want to make a comparison with this game against Crusader Kings, this isn't nearly as deep as Crusader Kings as far as what you're able to do, you know, with your relationships and all this other fun stuff. Um, they don't even keep track of days. You know, there's no calendar, which is really odd for a game like this. So, I mean, the people are aging, but we don't see what the actual age is. They're My just... Troops are waiting. His Excellency, the King, and his most noble family. I mean, they start off as like young and adult and then old, that kind of stuff. I mean, I, that's the first thing I looked at, was looking for when we got up and running. It's like, where's the date? <laughs> how do I know time is going by? <laughs> and how much time is going by? So, you know, so that's not a big fan of, but that's it's okay. Funny for Crusade demanded. We have a stroke of luck, King blah, blah, blah. Crusade shall march against the enemies of Christ soon. Make sure that 700 is sent from Munster's treasury to Rome for, his whole, for this holy deed but I need that money for other stuff let me think about it a little bit of extra depth here and there but nowhere near enough for me to purchase at that price we have received a diplomatic message we'll go to war against demand oh, who's this you guys are stupid I'll think about it Price is a bit much. I don't. I honestly don't know what the price is because this was offered to me as a promotional thing. 
but I don't have, I'm not under any obligation to pump the game up, so I can talk about it honestly, because I wasn't given any money. So I can talk about it freely. And in all honesty, it's okay. I mean, the game isn't bad. It's just that it's not, it seems to be lack, it's, it's okay. <laughs> it, I mean, it's just, I guess it depends on where you start, <coughs> which is pretty obvious for most of these game types is, you know, what country you start with, you really seems to determine your success. Like starting in Ireland is not a good spot to start if you want to be, you know, ru ruler of the world type stuff. Because you just, it's not going to happen with England being your neighbor. So Scotland too. They're not going to let it happen. So, you know, that this is just a way to learn the game and, you know, just have some, some general fun. Vang, welcome to the stream. Combat when controlling a glorious the royal performance. wedding was held. Uh, I had, didn't, I've only had one combat where I was uh, controlling stuff because, again, we haven't, in the first playthrough, I got my ass kicked because I started in Munster there too and i made the the mistake of starting a war against these guys too early and they came down with a 2800 man army against my 1200 and they rolled me of course and then we lost and i only had time to do one battle in real time and it was again it was a 2800 against 12 and it wasn't even close to a fair fight and but i didn't see any performance issues there it seemed to be fine we can adopt a new tradition, my lord. It's maybe a good game to get into grand strategy games. Probably, because this isn't as complicated as, say, your typical paradox stuff. This is definitely simpler than uh, Europa Universalis and Crusader Kings. It's, it's not as complex as those two. Combat is awful? I don't know if it's awful. Yeah, Crusader Kings 3 is a better game than this. I, I will say that, no problem. Crusader Kings 3 is better than this one. Because, again, there's more. Because, and this is lacking the diplomacy. It's, I mean, it's... How much time did I spend just wandering around trying to find somebody to marry uh, the king? Or the, the prince that's going to be... that became king? Nobody wanted to marry him. <laughs> and he's still not married, so... You know, and there's no way that I've seen to search for, you know, people that are, you know, eligible to be married other than going by and clicking on every town and unless I'm missing something, which is probably what's happening. But the Royal Library, this doesn't really help, right? Kingdoms. Yeah, this doesn't help. That's not what I'm looking for. See, Crusader Kings has a way to search through all the, the people to see who's eligible to be married, all this other stuff. So this doesn't have that for whatever reason. No, there's no Tinder site, Jeff. No Tinder site. So, you know, that's that's a flaw. I mean, it's not huge. Because eventually I think somebody's going to, you know, come to us and, I don't know, offer a marriage. But who knows? Clergy opinion decline of wood. Some of the recent events from the clergy, yeah, quite, sorry, some of the recent events made the clergy quite agitated, but his unique uh, leadership and blah, blah has calmed him down. So that's fine. Adopt a new tradition. So. Sire, as our fame grows, our people are ready and eager to follow your wise uh, guidance. Adopt a new tradition, which might lead to great improvements in our kingdom. Your wisest of rulers and his king. Saying there's no, you have no way of, you know, influencing your, well, there's no, you know, in Crusader Kings, there's, you know, people have opinions of each other and you can play with those numbers <laughs> to make things happen. <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. You can kill people, you can assassinate people, you can imprison them, you know, so that are, it's much more complicated with the relationships between the people in the game. And, you know, that's, that's a thing. And this one is, like I said, this is a simplified. This is a simplified version of a 4x game, or not a 4x, a grand strategy. It's very simplified, at least in my mind, it seems to be. Quality of life thing not updated into the game yet. Well, that this it's something that should have been in the game from launch for launch, 
because it's kind of important for your people to get married off. Because eventually we did find somebody, but, or did we? When did we marry her? See, I don't know where she came from. I don't know where she's from. And you can see, and you can see women don't play a, a very high, a important role in this game for the most part, it looks like, because you can see she's got some stats, but they don't match what he has. Crusader Kings 3, they, or Crusader Kings, what I say, Crusader Kings, they all have the same stats. As far as, you know, women have just as many as men do, and they're, they can be rulers and all this other fun stuff. Um, I don't know how that works here. I think we saw a queen ruler earlier, but um, I don't know how that works. Times a king marry a commoner, I think. Well, sure. <laughs> and that can happen in Crusader Kings. But you take a big hit for doing something like that, too. Uh, leadership. Archery. Uh, let's do... Kingdom influence, kingdom stability. There we go. So we'll go leadership. Our army approved of our recent actions. They should. So we can do another tradition. No, we can only do the one. So is this a money issue? Could be adopted in this slot based on a skill mastered by a knight in the royal court. So not yet. Think of that. Army opinion increased, so that's fine. Trade centers merged. I don't care. Maybe that is where your queen came from. Oh, where she came from? I, I think we. I don't know where she came from. I don't remember because I know we were look we were wandering around looking for somebody to marry marry him, but nobody was taking the offer. So maybe he did marry a peasant. It's very possible. I'm ready. It's very possible. Well, like I said, this game it's not like I said it's more simplified version of a grand strategy because the diplomacy isn't. Eh. The, although the use, how these uh, knights work, they call them knights, but they're not quite. They're not really knight knights. They're not combat people always. Like um, I don't even think I have one. Yeah, I don't. We've got a cleric, um, a merchant, a diplomat, and another merchant. And this other merchant isn't doing anything right now because we don't have enough trade to trade with anybody else yet. So we got that going. And then the army stuff. So we have a stability issue. I'm not sure exactly why. We have rebellious, kingdom stability, happiness. So I don't know what the exact issue with our stability, other than the clergy. The clergy don't like us because we failed something early on or something. Corinth. Oh, actually, the first error I noticed... <laughs> well, I don't know if it's technically an error, but at the start, when you're picking your kingdoms and stuff, the Holy Roman Empire is Germany. On the map, it says Germany. Infidels beware. Germany didn't the exist is coming. for a, couple, a few hundred more years. <laughs> So, Our nobility's opinion has improved. And I, and I was just looking around at other stuff and going, that's wrong, that one's wrong, that one's wrong. So, you know, that's just, I don't know if that's laziness or um, just lacking in knowledge there. I have a feeling it's lacking in knowledge. They meant Corinthia, but named it Corinth. Uh, yeah, that, again, that's... Well, this is... I don't know, I don't know the, the de developer, what country <laughs> they're me. from. Uh, do you want us to build something? No, I don't have the money to build anything right now. Leave me alone. Ability opinion increased. I want the clergy opinion. Cleric opportunity. Appease the clergy. How much is this going to cost me? 250 gold and 300 religion. I got the religion for that and the money, so... 56% chance to fail. And it's gone already. Because I didn't pause. So I don't like that. <laughs> I really don't like that. That wasn't up there that long. 
Yet this shun of foreign merchant up here is going to be forever. I know about it, but it was Germany in the first game apparently, and they decided to stick with that. Oh, well, that's just being stupid then. Because that, like I said, Germany, I mean, the year, and we started this game, the year is 1110. So Germany is not going to exist for, what, 800 years. <laughs> so I don't understand why. I mean, that seems like that's either, I, I, I'm going to have to call that's lazy. Because I know it was a mistake and they just still chose not to change it. That's just laziness. So. And then also, I think this is wrong too. Galway? In Ireland? I'm pretty sure Galway's down here. I don't think Galway's in northwestern Ireland. I'm pretty sure it's down in southwest Ireland. Dublin is there. And I think that's correct. And then Cork? Yeah, I think Cork is right. I think it's in this area too. But uh, like I said, Galway, I'm pretty sure, is down in southwest, or the south of Ireland, not in the northwest. So, eh. <laughs> Four merchants have arrived from Leinster. I mean, it's got little animations, people moving around and whatever, but I don't really know what they're doing other than moving around. Again, it's... So Cork is at least getting a little bit more stable. So half, their stability is plus two now. That's because of, we did the clergy thing, so we're better. So kingdom stability is plus one. Yes, we know defense is plus seven. So as your stability goes up, you get more and more bonuses. There's a holy crusade against Pomeranian. A diplomatic message has arrived. England must be dealt with. Ugh. Can you do us a small favor and wage war against them? Sure, no problem. I'll get right on that. England is my friend. Oh, dogs are home. Didn't catch him on camera, though. Not in time. Okay, so England. How how good of a friend are we? Must decline. Sad truth is that you say you discuss with my successor. What? I must decline talks for packs right now. The sad truth is that you may soon discuss this with my successor. Prince James, Prince Hugh. Um, isn't that my name? His Excellency, the King and his most noble family. Just a little facts right now. The sad truth is that you may soon discuss it. Oh, no, sorry. That's a comma there. I'm not his successor. He's just saying I'll just be discussing with his successor because he's venerable. He's going to die any day now. It's that time again. Drink some water to keep that brain moist. How do they look? I didn't see. That's the problem, Jeff, is I, I didn't see them come through the, through the door. I didn't have the camera up. They haven't been in here yet. They're They're getting bribed. How much money do I have? A thousand. Okay, so. So fish markets and... Uh, so we can't build the warehouses, the fish markets, because we don't have the requirements. In this case, barrels, salt and barrels. So I think we have to get those to trade or somewhere else. So don't worry about that. The horse breeding. Still don't have the money for that. That'll give us some more trade or commerce. Equiducts. So happiness and population growth or money and happiness. Or military stuff. Swords. Swordsmen. Oh. 
town guard quarters, so this is a uh, more levy in the town. I'm gonna go the horses. Just to get more trade, that'll get us up to 28. 1400, almost there. So. Bribed isn't the cleaning and beautification of bribe enough? No, that is not bribery for them, Jeff. That is, uh. uh foul treatment or, or something like that. Anyway, I just noticed we didn't restart the bingo card, so we're gonna end this bingo card and start up a new one. If you'd like to play some boss fight bingo, all you need to do is move your cursor over to the right hand side of the video screen. And about halfway down, you see three buttons. One of those buttons is the stream bingo button. Click on it, join a game, and as the boss fights happen here in chat, that, that will determine the numbers called for the bingo cards. I'll go for there. And just to get things started, we'll start a vote. So go to your cards and click a number you think that'll help you get there that much closer. Or sooner, whatever. Boss fight. Tubby, did you hear that? There is a boss fight starting. I heard the squirrel is looking for you. Dun, dun, dun. So allies, Ulster, and so these guys still. I got nothing really to do. Unless I want to go wage war over here against uh, Brittany. Somehow I think they'll kick my ass. He's got no friends. Well, he's got one friend. He's got no allies. We should no agreements nor any packs with Andrew. An audience with their king might be beneficial. Threats from France and Aquitaine. Kinship. Okay, Burgundy. So, the French. They want to be my friend. Trade does not interest you. Why? Aggression. As if we should fear you know, we don't sign this paper. <laughs> uh, so. We didn't talk to them yet, did we? We were just looking at their stuff. Look, his name is Conan. We've pleased our merchants, sire. Okay, Mr. is so prosperous, so advanced. That is uh, what I hear all day, and now you offer me trade. Now I'll be damned if I refuse. Okay, then. So, I'm aggression. Uh, okay, so maybe later. I, it's Puffles. Or, I, it's Puffles. Welcome to the stream. And would you guys beat up a spider with a gauss rifle? Spider with a gauss rifle is number 17 on your bingo card. And because you beat him, you get a free vote. So go to your bingo cards and click a number. Trade with your enemies to see their profits driven before you and to hear the jingle of the coins. I don't think that's what that means. Dum dum. Okay, so. Train is still at 26 or 1600. We're going to be upgrading the horse stuff to horse markets. So this will give us two more commerce stuff. No. And we produce trained horses. Cleric opportunity for an enlightenment mission. Go back to Constantinople again. So 250 gold, 110 uh, religion. Sure. I will exchange knowledge with these fine people. Books. I have 164 books. I need 200 to uh, upgrade people. And, um, I need what? I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm honestly stuck. I've got nothing to do. I can't start a war with anybody here because these three are all aligned together. That's England over here, so that'd be stupid. 
Sire, we've pleased our nobility. Good. Nobility opinion has increased, so. So our nobility is up to, what, three. So crown authority increased cost is reduced. Cost of bribing our knights is reduced. Or, oh, it's increased. Ugh. Espionage defense. I haven't even tried any espionage yet. Which difficulty am I on? Normal. I've never played the game before today, so. Invade Holland. How big are they? There's Flanders. Well, let's see. What are they looking like for friends? They do have allies. Lorraine is their ally, so that'd be bad. Saxony is their enemy. Upgrade has been completed. They're a vassal of Germany. That would be stupid on my part. Hey, Gray, welcome back. You see no honor? Me neither. Me neither. I am building new buildings. Nobles are so impatient. Sometimes. A Catholic kingdom has been expelled from our church. Uh, the blasphemous rule of Swabia is no longer to be tolerated in Pope Eugene, the one excommunicated them. So, it's not that hard, people. So, uh, Holland is out of the, the option of being invaded. What about Holland? No, so we just looked at this one. Allies, vassal of Germany. So Belgium, I must have seen Flanders, sorry, vassal of France. Yeah, see all these people. Germany allied with Holland. What timeline is this? The really pre-World -War, War II one. Luxembourg. Luxembourg is in here somewhere. It's pretty far inland though, right? That's Lorraine. Saxony. All right, where's Luxembourg? Germany. We were discussing this earlier. Germany didn't exist in the 12th century. <laughs> and that's what we're playing. There's Nuremberg. Isn't Luxembourg around here somewhere? There it is. They are friends with those guys. Vassal of Germany. So, yeah. Be smart like Russia and invade Finland. I didn't even think about beating up on Norway and up here. Norway. They have no friends or allies, but... They seem to be fairly large. So Norway is not an option. That's too far away anyway. That's too far away. Denmark? No. Denmark is going to be the same situation. They're allied with Sweden, so no. I have no friends. You're aware that you can click on icons or on the mini map to get a world of view. I mean like this. The crusade has ended with its armies conquering their target. Poland? Why would I want to invade Poland? I don't think Poland exists yet anyway. I don't even know where they'd be. Dances, relations. Actually, you meant uh, something over here, too. Trade zone. Stability. The world at your fingertips. So, this stuff? Again, doesn't really help me. <laughs> oh, I know it's a dead end. I know a plane started in Ireland with is a dead end because <clears throat> I don't know how to play the game. And it's easier to learn the game <clears throat> when you don't have a ton of stuff to manage. Mm 
because you jump in on you know with Germany or France or England, it's just like oh, so much stuff to start off with. I mean, look look how fast stuff is coming in right now. Trade opportunity. Shana foreign merchant. 49% chance. Um, no. Cleric opportunity. Religious uh, mission. So this is 66% chance. Look, 500 gold. Or money, whatever. Our king's religion ability. What? Stupid clergy. I'll think about that one. You just see where to expand on the big map. You could choose the kingdom view. Where to expand? I'm not even thinking about really expanding. <laughs> I mean, I, I know I was looking at stuff over here, but I'm not going to expand. We don't have the we don't have the manpower to do that. If these guys hadn't allied, we would have had a chance at taking some of this territory. But the jerks allied with each other, so. The Swiss and conquer the world with their neutrality or turn your pesky clergy into hamburger. <laughs> uh. And we got yes, these mercenaries sweat. here. But we're not at war, so we can't hire them. Any tactical advice? So we can hire more cavalry. What's our trade? Our trade's up to 28. Still not enough. Shit. Um, we have received a diplomatic message. The monster be interested in joining our defensive pact against whoever. Who's that? Scotland? We would always be using an extra hand in case matters escalate to war. Sure, why not? <laughs> so these guys. <laughs> Scotland. <laughs> ah, so funny. Scotland's apparently afraid of the Irish over here. Let's see, so swordsmiths. Public baths can't do that. Aqueducts or brothels. This is just uh, population growth and happiness. Or horse stuff. Can I get this? I got that. Oh, we need uh, more money. And then this we can't go up because we don't have the salt and barrels there or barrels. Boss fight. Is this boss fight going to be against one of the top bingo players from last month? I hope so. They were so annoying. Demand. So how do you trade stuff specifically with somebody? Is that even a thing? We can find a solution. So that's our diplomat. What a fine day to trade. This is our trader. Trading with England. Import goods. Ah, there we go. We can import charcoal if we want, but we don't have the commerce power to do that. Mm -hmm. See, we need more commerce too. We're pretty stuck. Perm was destroyed. I said boss fight, didn't I? I think I did. Yeah, we're pretty stuck. Oh, there go the mercenaries. What is your wish? There go the mercenaries. Bring an army to buy troops. I don't want to. Okay, so. Hmm. I think what we'll do. Yeah. I think what I'll do is we'll, we'll stop this. I have a break coming up here in a couple of minutes. So what I'll do is we'll stop here. And when I come back from break, we'll start up a new run with a different uh, country. Because I, I base in all honestly, I picked Ireland because 
I know in other games to get a get a grasp on how the game works, like Crusader Kings, I always pick Ireland because it's a smaller country, less stuff to manage, that kind of stuff is not as hectic. It gives you actually some time to learn some stuff. Not that I'm saying I learned much here or everything I need to learn because I've made a number of mistakes, but that's that's to be expected. My first time playing the game, so. Um, so anyway, I think I have a little bit better handle on what to do, maybe. Um, so we'll try to pick a better country to play around with when I get back from break. Like I said, so I'll be taking, uh, starting a couple minutes early, so for the break, and I'll be back that much sooner. So anyway, first, Platter Pirate killed everybody. Platter Pirate is number 12 on your bingo card. It's number 12. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna take an early break, and then uh, I'm gonna save this for fun. Hey, Freak Show, welcome back. Ireland, it was 11.10, I think. Okay, so, go to the main menu and get back. Okay, so I'm gonna go take a quick break. I need to get up, stretch my legs, get some water, that kind of thing. I'll be back in a few minutes, and uh, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the dog video.